Oh, my very favorite, favorite gastropod. Limus maximus, aka the leopard slug. Boink. Latin name literally just means big slug. <laughs> These guys can be carriers of, uh, boink, 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 boink. <laughs> oh, what's the, um, hi, hi, buddy. Look at those shiny, glittery scales, I guess. What's the word? Um, is it meningitis? Look how big he is. He's not even the biggest specimen I've found. He, she. Uh, they're hermaphroditic. Whatever that um, brain swelling disease is, I will look it up when I get home and put it in the comments. Boing. Um, you yeah, know, my hands are really dry, so he's probably like, what? These are really cool animals. But yeah, don't eat them because your brain could swell up and you could die. And if they're really hungry and they put their radulas on you, you can feel it. The radulas are, they don't have teeth, they have little gears in their mouth called radula. Snails have them too. They're part of the cleanup crew with nature. So they eat like dead leaves and stuff. And I had a couple of these called Roskvan Thialfi. And they um, had different personalities. Thialfi was the more timid one. His pneuma stone would always close up. Um, they have on the sides, look at how big you are. All right, I promised I'd put him away. So let's, let's just move him off the road here. Um, let's put you safe on here, on the dead leaves that you can eat. So on the side of their bodies, they have something called a pneumostome, which is a pneumo meaning lung, stoma meaning hole. Um, why are you coming back on me? And, uh, that's what they used to breathe with. I think it's connected to gills inside their body, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, um, when they're nervous, their pneumostone has a sphincter and it closes up, so nothing can get into it. And the Alfie would always do that. Roskva was the one who would, um, take risks and explore, and Thialfi was just like, leave me alone, I'm scared. I would love to keep them again, but they uh, got very listless and had to be returned to the wild after a few weeks because they weren't happy. And I was afraid uh, uh, for that one over there because I found it on the ground being listless. Um, but it appears to be doing just fine now that it's had some, I don't know, stimulation or whatever. It's fine. So I haven't seen them in like a year or two and I'm so glad that I got to see them or see one of them today. I'm so happy. Like I freaking love leopard slugs. I think they're beautiful. I think they're cool. I think I definitely need to go wash my hands. So I'm going to go do that. Great end to a day. <laughs>